building muscles requires two things, proper eating habits and resistance training. And this is what I will be doing in today's video, showing you what exercises I'm doing for the upper body to build proper muscles. So definitely stay tuned. Okay, and here is the day one, and we're starting with five sets, max reps, four exercises, four blocks of exercises. So the first one is a chin up, and I love this exercise because it targets your upper body muscles at the back. And first, do as many as you can, the normal ones, and then if you can't, just use the resistant band. straight we are going to diamond push-ups which will definitely target your triceps and of course the chest and the next exercise is assisted pull-ups so if you can't perform the full pull-up then this exercise is for you and look how hard my back muscles are working and then again going to the push-ups, this time military. Just make sure you keep the elbows close to the body and this will target your triceps as well. And then ring push-ups. This one is crazy one because you fighting for the stability and this works your core as hell. And obviously the chest, the shoulders. And then single arm dumbbell row. So just make sure that you really engage that back muscle and you don't rotate the torso. And the single arm, because I want to have the same strength in both hands. So no discrepancy here. And then we're going into overhead shoulder press. Let's just make sure you're standing still, strong on your legs engage core and then don't rock back and forward and overhead tricep extension as well just triceps are doing the work no rocking with your body and day two is over here so again five sets max reps so i'm starting with chin up again because i want to do as many chin ups as possible so this is my goal and then again, when I can't do the normal chin up, I just use the resistant bands. So just make sure you use the different thickness of the resistant bands. And then we're going to decline push ups. So obviously, these are very challenging, and I'm using parallels because I've got a problem with my wrist. So that helps to keep them in the neutral grip. Australian pull-up it's great exercise if you can't perform full pull-up and you'll be gradually building strength toward that pull-up and we're still targeting our chest by standard push-ups and just make sure you're not flaring those elbows yeah just keep them close to your body and if you don't have the access to the fly machines, then you can do reverse ring fly using the Olympic rings. It will target your back muscle as hell. And then you can do the same with the chest ring fly. And look how hard my shoulders, my upper body is working. <laughs> tricep push down again only triceps are doing the work you're not pushing this one with your whole upper body and it will burn especially when you go to the elevated push-ups which also targets your triceps so if you can do more than 10 well you are at half cookie And I'm finishing my upper body session always with the run. So sometimes it's eight kilometers, sometimes it's 10 kilometers, sometimes it could be even 16 kilometers. It depends what my running goal is. So upper body done. Now it's time to stretch, go home, have a breakfast and then recover. 
So it's the day three and again we're doing five sets max reps. So let's go. So first I'm starting with the negative pull-ups. So just make sure that when you're going down, you're counting to three. So it's just to make sure that your muscles are staying under the tension as long as possible. That way you're building that strength for the first pull-up. Tight push-ups will build your shoulder strength and improve core stability. They will also target your abs, obliques and quads. Another single exercise, arm pull down. So again, I don't want to have the discrepancy in both hands, so that's why I'm doing single arm and very good exercise for the back muscles. And look how slowly I'm going here. I'm not just dropping the weight. My muscles are controlling the whole movement. Resistance bands, front raises, it's the next exercises. And look how engaged my core is and my shoulders are performing the work. I'm not rocking using the momentum. Seated back row. It will target your back muscles, upper body back muscles, and then again you're moving slowly, not moving forward and back, just dropping the weight. Your muscles are controlling the full movement. And obviously don't forget to breathe. And then bicep curls. Again, engaging your core and then moving slowly, not using the momentum. So even a small weight will definitely challenge you. Face pull-ups. Just make sure again that your muscles are doing the work. So it's nice and slow movement. And then when it's proper movement, your muscle will be on fire. And finishing with push-ups. So just again, make sure the line is straight, the elbows are in and core engaged. session finished so it's the end of the workout when I'm away it's time to go back to home so this is how I train when I'm away free upper body session so yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you like don't forget to like it subscribe and hit the notification bell and right now I'll see you at the next video peace out and as you can see, it's possible to build lean muscles even when you are away. So no excuses here. Just enjoy the process.